Hey y'all, and welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tiffany, and today I'm going to bring you another exciting meatloaf recipe. So, as you can see, I have everything laid out in front of me for what we're going to need for this recipe. So today I'm going to bring you a bacon-wrapped bacon cheeseburger meatloaf. So, yeah, you did hear me, a bacon-wrapped bacon cheeseburger. So we're going to dive in, and we have our one egg over here. Now, I, again, don't have any breadcrumbs. I get creative. I've used Cheez-Its in the past, stovetop stuffing, old croutons. Well, this time around, since we're doing a bacon cheeseburger, we're going to, we, I had some smoke, uh, was it? There, there, here's a bag. Some of these smoky bacon Lay's chips. So I crushed them up. And we've got just a little under two-thirds of a cup. So we're going to use those as our cheese, or as our breadcrumbs and see how it goes. Could be very interesting. Then I've got a third of a cup of my bacon bits, a cup of my cheese, a half a cup of onions diced, a quarter cup of ketchup, the bacon in which to wrap it in, and then we're going to use some of this barbecue sauce as a glaze for the top of it. So, all that being said, as for always, we jump right in. And you always put everything, aside from this, because we don't need that until just a little later, into the bowl, because there's our chicken. Yes, I'm using chicken, not ground meat, or ground beef, but you can use either one. So this is going to be, I guess it's more of a bacon-wrapped bacon chicken burger, cheeseburger. <laughs> so we're going to get our little handy on the spoon. So I'll break up the meat a little bit like this, so it's uh, easier to work with. And then we're just going to kind of dump everything in. So, hang on. Get that in there. Like so. Dump. So, hang on a second. Let me move everything around here so I can show you guys better. There we go. So. And. I am using a new camera, so please bear with me while I get everything lined up and in focus. Ah, right, there we go. That's a little bit better. Now you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so, so far I've added part or half of the ingredients. So now we're going to get the bacon bits in there. Or bacon crumble, I guess. This is real bacon crumble. There is our chips as breadcrumbs. This is definitely a first for me. I've never done that before. And we'll pop our little egg out of our three-quarter cup here because it's I just used that to hold the egg so it didn't roll away, but there's our egg. So now we're just going to add the egg in on top of everything and put that over there. Last but not least, we are going to add our ketchup to the mix, like so. Get it all out, all the ooey gooeyness out, and into our bowl. So now, as per normal, we're just going to mix everything up. And get it all nice and mixed together so I will be back with you guys when it is time to hit the next step all right everyone so I've got my pan that I keep using as you see it's a little rough because I've been using it for my meatloafs and I've opened the bacon so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each slice of bacon kind of like so I just kind of put it in Kind of like that, so that it's kind of in there and sticking up, and I kind of go back and forth with it, like so, and just do it until all of the bacon is there, leaving some overhang so you can put it on top for when it's ready. So. Like that. Oops. Like that. And then one more piece on the end here. Like so. Alright, so we're just gonna, you know what? Let's put 
one more over here as well so that it kind of up the side of the neat loaf pan here too like that so kind of like like that all right so that was easy enough right everybody so just yeah kind of move this piece so it's kind of more up like this and around like that all right so next we're going to take our meatloaf mixture and this time around we're not going to stuff it we're just going to put it in we're just going to kind of press it into the uh, get all the meatloafy goodness out of the bowl get it all out and into the pan we're just going to kind of try very hard not to knock the bacon over just kind of press her in like so making sure that you get a nice even dispersing of the meat contents and of course I'm gonna get a little dirty I couldn't get away from it because again chicken or ground chicken sticks to everything so it's sticking to my spoon so it needs me a little bit to uh, get it off the spoon. <laughs> okay, there we go. And like I said, just kind of pack her down into it, into the corners and such. So, like that, like so, down like so. Like I said, just evenly disperse it, then get as much off as you can. Here. Okay. So there's that. So next, I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I'm back, I got my bracing brush, I got my barbecue sauce. So we're just gonna shake her up a little bit. We're going to put a little bit of the barbecue sauce on the top like so. Now, if you guys are wondering what sauce I'm using, it's this Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory and Brown Sugar. So, I've actually come to like this one. It's really, really good. So, now we're just going to take our basting brush and baste it along the top so it covers all of our meat mixture. Like so. Whoops. Eh. Oh, well. Bacon's already folded over. No biggie. <laughs> it won't hurt. Alright, so we're just kind of like that. Like I said, so it gets all up in there goodness. So next, you're going to take all of your pieces of bacon and fold them over like so. Like that. Fold it over like so. And then just for good measure, I'm going to take... Hang on, we're going to need to cut that. Alright, so I'm just going to cut the bacon pieces in half, like so, and then take them, well it works if you cut them all the way through, and just kind of lay it on top like so, like that, kind of like that, and then like that. that and then yes just for good measure we will do it this way as well so we make sure yes I know it may be a little overkill on the bacon but there's only four slices left I don't think I need to put that back in the fridge right now so we're just gonna for all you bacon lovers out there it's gonna be very bacony I'm gonna kind of do it on an angle so that they kind of fit like so All right, so there we go. Now it's all ready. I've got my oven preheated to 375. I'm gonna stick it in there, and it's gonna cook for about 50 to an, 50 minutes to an hour, and then I will be back with you guys when it's time to put it on the plate. Okay, everyone. So I just pulled it out of the oven. Doesn't that look really good? Um, I'm pretty sure I could probably crisp up the bacon a little bit more if I broiled it. 
but I'm also afraid I might set it on fire. So <laughs> right now we're just going to leave it like that. So let's go put it on the plate. All right, everyone. So here it is on the plate. And of course, being that it's a cheeseburger meatloaf, you got to pair it up with some fries. I mean, look at that. But look at that, guys. Doesn't that look yummy? It's just really, 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 really scrumptious. And the bacon turned out nicely, though I probably could have crisped it up a little bit more. But as I said, I didn't want to catch anything on fire since I've never really done it in the oven before. But there you guys have it. Doesn't that look great? So what do you guys think? Didn't that look great and yummy and scrumptious? And trust me, it really was. And it was kid approved. You guessed it. What kid doesn't like bacon cheeseburgers or bacon? Ah, who am I kidding? Who doesn't like bacon? I mean, okay, yes, there are probably several out there who don't like bacon, but it was a win-win in this household. We hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe think about giving us a thumbs up. It really does help us get out there and helps the algorithm. And if you haven't yet, come join our family. We get up to a lot of fun, chaos, family togetherness, great yummy videos, uh, recipes, and uh, gonna be getting out there and doing a lot more now that the nicer weather has come out. And just being all together as a family. If that's the kind of content you're looking for, come join our family. We welcome everybody with open arms and open hearts. But that being said, I gotta get this stuff put away. Believe it or not, I do have leftovers. So I'll see everybody in the next one. Bye, everybody.